As of 2009, studies show that more than one-third of Americans are overweight or obese. Because America's food industry endorses high-fat, high-sugar, and supersized food, Americans have been tempted to rely on the fast and convenient way to satisfy their three main meals of the day. Because of the lack of knowledge and poor nutrition, overweight Americans have almost doubled since 1970. Because at least 310,000 Americans die each year from obesity-related diseases, this is a serious threat to both children and adults across the United States today. What we eat and how active we are are the two top determinants of good health because of the obvious correlation between the relationship of nutrition and disease. By maintaining a healthy diet, it is possible for us as Americans to fight obesity and avoid the life-threatening diseases that come with it. According to the Dietary Guidelines for Americans that was published in 2005 by the USDA, they claim that the most important role of nutrition would be the daily intake of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy products. While eating your recommended dosage of fruits and vegetables, it provides you with fiber, antioxidants, and vitamins, which lowers your chances of acquiring heart disease or diabetes. The USDA also recommends to include the consumption of lean meats, poultry, and fish to satisfy the body's need for protein. These lean meats are essential for good health due to their small amounts of dietary fat. Not only are these meats low in fat content, but they can also improve your health and help you effectively achieve weight loss, prevent falls, and keep hair and nails looking shiny and healthy. The USDA also recommends us to avoid saturated fats, trans fats, cholesterol, salt, and sugars. The American Heart Association recommends that you maintain total blood cholesterol levels of less than 100 mg per day. As your liver produces cholesterol, which is a waxy substance that plays an extremely important role in the body, it can come in either high-density lipoprotein or HDL and low-density lipoprotein or LDL. LDL can clog arteries and HDL helps remove the LDL. By limiting dietary cholesterol intake, it can both prevent and treat high cholesterol, which could also prevent heart disease. Saturated fat is known as the solid fat. For example, this would be the fat that you will probably find floating on top of your meat stew or the grease left after you've made bacon. They are prim primarily animal fats or plant oils. You can avoid saturated fat by choosing leaner meats, removing skin from poultry, and drinking low-fat or fat-free milk. Saturated fats directly raise LDL and can lead to the development of cancer or heart disease. Trans fats are known as unsaturated fats, but they are also known to raise your LDL levels while lowering the HDL. Trans fats are used to extend shelf life of processed foods such as cookies, cakes, donuts, or any item that contains hydrogenated oil or partially hydrogenated oil. Hydrogenated oil is a chemical process that liquids change solid into fats. By limiting your intake of sugary foods and refined grain products such as white bread, you can drastically improve your health. Sugar can be traced into increased insulin levels, a weakened immune system, and a huge contribution to disease such as cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and arthritis. Lastly, one of the most important routines that can lead you to good health is regular exercise. Experts recommend adults get about 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity each day. It controls weight, combats health conditions and diseases, gives you energy, and improves your mood, and sometimes it can even be fun. By following these guidelines for your daily diet, it increases your chances of staying healthy and preventing the life-threatening diseases that today's Americans fight every day. Let's combat obesity and live a long, healthy life.